In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding PDF files, or files in general, to apps on your iPad. Let's go ahead and connect our iPad to your computer, and once you do, you should see iTunes open up automatically. You can go over here to tap on your devices, and you should see your iPad's name over here. Once you tap on that, you're going to see the summary screen. Along the top, you're going to see a menu bar. Click on Apps and you should see a listing of some of your apps you have synchronized. This particular computer isn't synced to my iPad, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, and towards the bottom you're going to see a section called File Sharing. Below that you'll see a list of the apps that you have installed on your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and go down to an app called Fourscore, and you can see when I click on this you're going to see a listing of all the files that I have copied over to this particular app. Now you should realize that each app is going to have their own libraries and so files that you drag over won't be seen by other apps. So you need to copy over the files to each app individually. So after I click on Forsk or whatever app you want to choose to move your file into, I'm going to go into this button that says Add and click on that. You're going to be taken to a navigation screen. I'm going to go ahead and go into a file that I want to copy over. It's within my documents folder over here, and it's called, it's this file that I got from freescores.com. It's a Beethoven Piano Trio. Let's go ahead and click on that and, high, and select that, and go ahead and click on Choose. And once you do that, you can see right over here, here's the file. It's been copied over. And once you open up Fourscore in the app over here, you'll see it open up in that particular app's library. Now, just the same, if you want to go ahead and take this file, let's say I want to take a different file over here and I want to Oh, I don't know, take this Mozart horn concert. I want to save it to my uh, computer. You can do the same thing by clicking on the file. Oh, here's another one over here, A Day in the Life of a Fool. And if I want to save this to my computer, I can do that by selecting this, saving this, and clicking on this button, Save to, and then you're going to choose that, your folder. And in this case, I'll go ahead and choose the documents. And once you choose that, it'll copy that file over. Let's go ahead and take a look at the documents folder. And you can see here is the file, A Day in the Life of a Fool copied right over. Okay, so those are some ways. Oh, by the way, if you want to delete files, you can do the same by simply uh, tapping the delete key while you have a, a file selected. Go ahead and tap the delete key. Oops, excuse me. I had the name selected. Go ahead and tap it and it'll ask you to confirm that. You can delete that and, suddenly, and then that will remove files from the app as well. Let's go back and add this back in one more time. Okay, click on that, click on choose, and it'll copy the file right back on over as you can see right over here. So that's a quick tutorial on adding files, in this case PDF files, to various specific apps on your iPad.